It's a trap, man. Tough day, but a good one. You came out here as a champion with a pretty good field. You had the rest. Talk about what it took to win today. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a long day. It's been a long week, long few weeks, juggling you know folk style wrestling and wrestled Army on Thursday. Travel here, get my weight down, wrestle freestyle, which I haven't wrestled a freestyle match in like two months. So I don't know. I was really really proud of myself. Um, something that I really haven't been able to say for a long time, and I think that's important to me. You know, I, I opened up with a really tough, gritty win against Japan. Um, and then a win against Canada, and then a win against uh, Ken Chadze. So a lot of foreign guys, which I wasn't really expecting, but uh, I wrestled Luan as well. Was, you know, I wrestled five really, really good guys, or six, I can't even remember. I kind of blacked out a little bit in my semifinal match, but uh, you know, it felt like I was kind of wrestling my, my brother and myself in that last match with Deeringer. He's just, we both underhooked the same side, so. Uh, I knew it was going to be a struggle, and I just tried to stay offensive as much as I could. I never really did score um, a takedown, but I do feel like I, you know, controlled center and got to my hook and tried to get him to the edge. So I was rewarded with a passivity point, and somebody just got to win different ways. And that's something that I really haven't been able to do. I think the past few years is win in kind of multiple ways. So I was really proud of myself for being able to beat such a good guy like like Alex, someone who, you know, when I was in in high school and junior high was the guy and here I am competing against him so it's a really special tournament. I wrestled a lot of really really talented guys and i um, just proud of my effort. Yeah I mean folk style and freestyle during an Olympic year you're gonna have to manage that a little bit more too aren't you? Yeah it's gonna be tough but it, this was the best opportunity for me to qualify for the trials because the senior US Open is the same weekend as a collegiate duel so I'll be in Nashville and, and honestly I just I wanted to compete here. I knew there was going to be good guys, and um, I felt like I had a good chance of qualifying the spot by winning. And I stayed really, I was really relaxed. I was really stress free. Um, Tariq Wilson did a great job with me this weekend, and um, he's actually two for two in freestyle tournaments. He helped coach Isaac to a world title last month and, and me to a Bill Farrell. So, well, you guys might let him hang around for a while. I was going to say, Pat, maybe I need to give him a little bit of a raise. Um, <laughs> I'm just really proud. It was, it was a tough weekend, but. Um, I'm a competitor. I love doing this. I, I wrestle as much as I possibly can, and you know, it's, it's those matches where you win, maybe two one at the end. There's not a whole lot of action, but I've been training my body to compete really, really hard, and I was able to do that today. So I'm just I'm proud of myself. Could you feel the energy in the crowd during that Kinshasa match? Yeah, it was wild. Really, the only thing I heard was my mom and dad yelling at me every time I every time I gave a takedown. They were like. Trent, what are you doing? I was like, listen, I, I wasn't trying to get taken down the same move five times. It's just, he's, a, he's an ultra wrestler. I've, I've never wrestled anybody maybe as quick or as technical as him. So I really had to dig deep for that. And I knew the, the crowd was behind me. Um, and I was able to finish it out. It felt, it felt really good riding that energy. And um, it, it's hard when you win a match like that to come back and get ready for another superstar match. But um, I got a bowl of soup at a really good restaurant and that fueled me to victory. How about that four though, what you see in that position, because it happened with about one second to go. Yeah. To go for it rather than just trying to get the takedown. Yeah, well I had, I think I had like 10 seconds on the restart and I was up big, like 9-5 and he stormed back. Um, I knew I only needed one for criteria, um, kind of hit a little bit of an underhook shuck by and he did a really incredible job of not going down for two. and. Um, at that point, I knew there was like six seconds left. I was just trying to use all my strength to get him to the out of bounds. And I kind of, as I was pressuring, he pressured back and the lift was there. It's crazy. I've actually never hit a gut wrench to my left side or a throw to that side. Um, so I don't really know how I pulled that off, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> yeah, well, people are going to be talking about that one for a while, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you watch the video tonight. Well, I, my, I, my phone was blowing up. I was like, hey, guys, I still got another match to take care of tonight. <laughs> I, I really, that, really, that match was awesome, but it didn't really do anything for me in terms of qualifying. So <laughs> I knew I had to come back prepared tonight. And I would have I liked to be able to you know, get a takedown, but I think if – I don't know how many takedowns Alex Deeringer gives up. So he's, he's really good, someone I respect a lot. Um, and uh, it's just it's cool to be able to compete and, and come out with a win in that one. Hey, great job, man. Thank you, guys. I appreciate, appreciate it. You.